Oh, yes, score. Man, one thing I love about Cascadia is when one season comes to an end, another one picks up. So salmonberry season's over, thimbleberry season has arrived. Oh, man, that's good. Now, thimbleberries are a really common shrub here in Cascadia, growing in moist forest openings up to about three meters tall, with really iconic white five-petaled flowers and these luscious green leaves that are palm-shaped, soft and fuzzy, growing to be about 20 centimeters wide, which is significantly larger than other members of the Rubus family. And they also lack the, you know, characteristic spikes of blackberries and raspberries, which makes picking their fruit just, you know, an absolute dream. Mmm. Their flowers are fairly large, white, with pale yellow stem, and then after being fertilized, turn into these really cool berries that kind of resemble raspberries. You know, starting off as like kind of a chalky red, fading to a really rich, vibrant red when they're prime, ripe, you know, good for plucking. Now, this isn't a true fruit in that it's comprised of many droplets that have, uh, you know, individual seeds in them that together form a fruit body over a central core. And they're often so big that when you pluck them, it comes off the central core and kind of resembles a sowing thimble, you know, hence the name thimbleberry. Which now that I think about it is kind of ironic because this is, you know, one member of the Rubus family that doesn't have barbs on it, yet a sewing thimble is meant to keep your finger from getting plucked. So, yeah, that's interesting. Huh. Now, thimbleberries are kind of notorious for falling apart, not sticking together very well, and kind of making a bit of a mess when you eat them. So they never quite gain the popularity that raspberries and blackberries see, even though, in my opinion, way better. They are really seedy though and full of moisture, so they actually dry really well. And indigenous groups in the area used to dry these into fruit cakes, either by themselves or mixed with salal or salmonberry or other berries in the area. And I I've never had one of these fruit cakes, but it sounds delicious. Sign me up. So those are thimbleberries, one of the most delicious, underrated berries we have here in all of Cascadia. A little bit messy, but they make a great trail snack, so keep an eye out for them. But you stay away from my patch. I found these fair and square. I'm serious. Oh, gall dang, what a beauty. If you're enjoying these videos, feel free to subscribe to my channel below or just keep watching to keep learning because the more you know, the more fun you're gonna have next time you're outside in nature, enjoying it. Sure is rad out here. There's just, there's so much green, you know? I've never seen this much green before.